Herbert the Fearsome Dragon. Oh, brother. Herbert the Timid Dragon. Now that's more like it. Adapted from the Golden Book of the same name by Mercer Mayer. My pal, Herbert the Dragon, lives in a snug cave on the edge of the forest wild, but uh, not too wild. Herbert's the nervous type. Every night at bedtime, he lights a candle and reads us a story from his favorite book, Knights in Armor. I love these exciting tales of brave knights and princesses in distress. Gee, diddly, I wish I were a brave knight in armor just once in my life. <laughs> you see, Herbert's not brave. No, 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 no. He's timid. Yet, that dreadful hulking shape creeping closer and closer, reaching for me to do something, did he? Herb, baby, every time you eat a slice of dragonberry pie, your imagination runs away with you. Listen, pal, you got to get a grip on yourself. <laughs> a, gri a grip? That sounds... Dangerous. No, it's not half as dangerous as spending your life afraid of everything, even your own shadow. But, but uh, that shadow's scary. No, not to a knight it isn't. You want to be a knight, don't you? More than anything. Oh, yes. That is my dream. Well, then, let's clean up and go find it, pal. Out, uh, <clears throat> out there in the cold, cruel world. No, no, I, I can't. Oh, sure you can. Now stay here with that dreadful shadow hanging around. Hey, 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 where you going? To pack. So that's why Herbert decided to leave home and seek adventure along the dusty road. Well, this, uh, this isn't so bad so far. Hey, what's that? Just the wind, Herb. <laughs> I knew that. <gasps> What's that? Help! Help! Monster! Beast! Snake in the grass! <laughs> Close. It's a bunny rabbit. A rabbit! <laughs> I knew that. No, gotta be careful. Can't trust those rabbits. <gasps> What's that? What's that noise? Someone or something's following us. That dreadful scraping. I can't stand it. I... Ah, well, <laughs> that's better. Come, Diddly, knighthood awaits. Your tales await, you mean. What's that? What's do? The princess has lost a wheel. He gets. Oh, it's just a princess in trouble. Ah, a, a princess, princess in, in trouble? trouble? Ah, sweet destiny. <laughs> the princess was in trouble. A wheel had fallen off her cart. But when Herbert saw her guards, he thought that they were kidnappers. Oh, my. She's beautiful, even for a princess. Oh, look, pal. It's a perfect opportunity to help her. You could be a hero. <coughs> <coughs> May I help? Egads! A dragon! Run it for your lives! I don't think they understand dragon talk. Halteth! In the name of the kingeth! Take that, you varmint! What's a varmint? I don't know. Don't worry, princess! I'll save you! Let me down! The archers were the king's guards, but how should Herbert know that? Let go of me, you beast! Hang on tight! We're almost no. there! Arrows can't hurt a dragon, but Herbert was scared. So uh, he ran until he reached his cave, set the princess down, and... Listen, you silly-looking dragon. When my father, the king, finds out you've carried me away, he's going to fix you. Oh, my. Uh, what have I done? Uh, maybe <laughs> you'd better go. This way out, sister? No waiting. No. My mother told me never to go out alone after dark. I'm staying right here until my father comes to rescue me. You just wait. You're gonna get it. P perhaps some um, music will cheer you up. I hate dragon music! Don't take it to heart, Herbie baby. Everyone's a critic. Ah, you, you must be... Hungry, my dear sweet 
princess. Icky, sticky dragon soup. Ugh. I rather like it myself. Psst. Er, maybe if we tidy up the guest room, yes, she'll uh, settle down. Dusty, musty dragon bed. Yuck. Particular, isn't she? No. Yeah, particularly dangerous. That was only the beginning. Ah. The princess threw a temper tantrum. Hey, she even pulled my tail. No, no, no! She smashed all of Herbert's fine dragon bone china, tipped over his bookcase, stomped on his toys. Uh, I'm getting no sleep at all. Well, at least things can't get worse. Open up in there! Let me in! Or can I? Come out and fight, you dragon, you! Me? Him? This is uh, terrible. Uh, uh, whenever I get frightened, uh, uh, I get hiccups and uh, <clears throat> start smoking everything up. Uh, hey, wait! Come back! What about the princess? Yeah, take our princess, please. Well, you did it. All that smoke scared him away. Hey, buddy, you gotta control yourself. Well, that afternoon, the king and his whole army marched into Herbert's front yard. I'm going to make mincemeat out of you, oh foul and villainous dragon! Who? Uh, wh where's the dragon? I think he means you, old buddy. Me? <coughs> There's the cannon! I'm the battering ram! Daddy! Oh no! Uh, here it goes again! <coughs> <coughs> Whenever I'm terrified, you know I can't stop coughing. And then I can't keep fire from pouring out of my nose and my mouth. Yeah, stop it, Herbert. We wanted to take the princess, remember? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Blast it. The cannon's melted. The battering ram's burning. Are you men or mice? Now look what you've done, you terrible dragon. You've scared away my father's army. But I, I didn't mean to. I'm going home, and don't you try to stop me. Ho-ho! Oh, good riddance to bad rubbish. Oh, my. I <clears throat> certainly made a mess of things. I, I guess I'm just not cut out to be a brave knight in armor. For days, Herbert slunk around his cave. Then, a troll friend of ours dropped by for a visit. Herbert, have you heard the news? No, my radio's still broken. It's just awful. After you melted the king's cannon, burned up his battering ram and scattered his army, the Duke of Dingbat and his men kidnapped the princess they did. Real kidnappers? And carried her away to Castle Grouch. The princess? No. The king has no army left to rescue her. Not even one brave knight. I wish I could help. It's my fault she's in danger. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm not a knight. I'm just a timid old dragon. Well, you've got that wagon load of treasure lying around in your cellar. Why don't you ransom her? It's the least I can do. Whoa, Herb, I don't know about this. No, oh, don't worry, little buddy. I know what I'm doing, I hope. There's the castle. He he hello! Anyone there? Um, I'll trade you this wagon load of gold for the princess. But the Duke of Dingbat didn't understand dragon language. What he heard was a terrible dragon roar. A dragon has attacked. Dump a ton of boulders on him. That'll fix his wagon. <laughs> Gee, my wagon is just fine. Herbert's scales were so thick that he wasn't hurt a bit. No, but he was horrified. That made his nose tickle. And of course, when his nose tickled, he sneezed. Oh, no. Uh, um, here, here it goes. Uh, 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 mm, uh, oh, oh, no. Um, uh, uh, Shucks, it was nothing, nothing.
nothing at all. Zounds! We're done in! Never have I seen so brave a dragon. Or one so windy. Run! Head for the hills! Oh, poo, fellas! I lost the back door key! You are so brave. You trapped the duke. So, Herbert took the princess back to her father's castle. And he made the duke and his bandits pull the wagon load of gold all the way. Well, you probably guessed by now that Herbert was very popular. I dub thee first knight and grand dragon of the realm. Gee, thanks. This, this is a dream come true. And now, let the music begin. <laughs> what a party. The king had presents for everyone. See, it says so right here. That is, presents for everyone but the Duke of Dingbad. He had to work on the safety patrol. Pool, pool, double, pool, pool, pool. So, Herbert is a knight in armor, but uh, not a brave knight in armor. <laughs> no, he's still the same old timid Herbert. But you see, nobody knows that except me and uh, the princess. Shh! And she makes sure that no one scares, frightens, or horrifies Herbert ever again. Because, well, maybe Herbert is just a timid dragon. <coughs> but you see, that's just the way we like him. <laughs> <laughs>